Hello there, this is Brennan from Gongs Unlimited, here to talk about some gong mallets with you. As you may have guessed from the title, I'm talking about dragonfly mallets. And not any dragonfly mallets, about half of them. Ones that kind of look like this. If you log on to gongsunlimited.com and you scroll over to uh, gong accessories, then you say, ooh, dragonfly, what's that? And you click on it, you might get a little bit of what they call option paralysis. Hey, that's a lot of different mallets. And hey, some of them look quite alike. How am I supposed to tell what the difference between these two are? Or the difference between these two? Well, you're not the first one to think that, which is why I'm here talking to you through this camera, eventually through your computer. To explain the differences and also play, so it's not just my words, but you can really hear the differences between uh, the types of gong mallets that we would call professionally big, fluffy gong mallets. This is an F-line mallet, an F2. This is the extra large, and then we have the fuzz bucket two, and the new variation on the fuzz bucket from percussionist Cynthia Ye. We have a lot of mallets that look similar, similar outsides, and you can't really tell the size difference just from looking at them on the website. But there is a big size difference if you look at something like the fuzz bucket compared to the extra large. There's a weight difference, and there's a difference in how they play. So we picked three gongs out to practice and show you a little bit of the differences between these mallets and how they perform on different gongs. From a Peisty gong to a Felvenot gong, we also have an unlimited gong, some Chinese gongs for you to see really how these mallets differ and what makes each one special. So now I'm gonna play all these on three different gongs and I'm gonna talk to you at the end about what I heard really separating all of these mallets.
So, after listening to all those gongs, you probably have your own thoughts about what you like, what you don't like, but also what separates these mallets. Um, but I'm going to give you a little bit of what I heard in person and the experience I have overall, because it's, it's not my first time using these mallets. Let's talk specifically about ones that are really similar in size and performance. For example, this F-Line F1 and this extra large Dragonfly mallet. The biggest difference is aesthetic. Um, I much prefer the handle on this one. It's got a nice grip and then it's got this maple handle. It's a little more evenly distributed in weight where this one is a little heavier at the head. Um, I don't prefer the mallet as much, but you get really great performance out of it. A slightly softer head, so you're not gonna get really any attack from this F-Line mallet. You get a pretty similar result, big base, um, and it's really a matter of what kind of feel do you like from your mallet. Do you feel like you can really, do you like the feel of being able to really control? In which case, this is nice because of the weight distribution, you can really be in charge of this mallet. Whereas this one, it's gonna give you almost a little bit of a surprise because the head is so heavy, which also a lot of people like. Um, let the gong speak for itself, not let you speak for it. So that's the difference between these two. Really similar in performance um, and in size, as you can see. And also, talking about mallets that are very similar in appearance, we have the Fuzz Bucket 2, which is this right here. Same handle as on that extra large gong mallet. And then we have this new variation, which is a Cynthia Ye Special Edition Fuzz Bucket. These two look extremely similar, only difference being that the Fuzz Bucket 2 has a maple handle with a grip, and then this one has a metal handle, presumably aluminum because it's quite light, but with the same grip. Performance though, they do sound a little bit different. The Fuzz Bucket 2 has a very soft, low attack head that's great for maintaining a low growl or bringing out nice mids. You get more attack out of this variation because it's a little, less soft of a head. Even though it has that same soft material on the outside, it's got a harder core. And so you get a little bit more attack and a little bit more of those searing high notes when they come out. Both of these get more bass, more low resonance than this, the baby bucket, which looks kind of like these. And if you didn't know any better, you might say, hey, what's the difference between these? But once you see them in person, you can see one of these is not like the other. The Baby Bucket is very similar in appearance, it has the same exact material for the head, except it has A, a bamboo handle, and B is about a third the size of the conventional Fuzz Bucket. It's really good for bringing out high notes and uh, searing upper mids, but without getting the nasty attack that you get from a lot of mallets that bring those out, because it's got such a soft head. Very different from these two. And the last mallet that I brought into this demonstration is one that is not exactly like the others, but I thought was worth bringing up anyways. And it is this, the Dragonfly Large Two-Sided Mallet, which is obviously distinct because it has the two sides, one that is much softer, one that gets you a real hard bounce. But I thought it was worth entertaining what it sounded like, especially the soft side, in comparison to the counterparts that only have that one distinct sound. So you could say, hey, I actually like the soft sound the best on this one if you do. And then you can also get a, almost like a free other mallet to come with it on the other side. It performs most similar to the F-Line mallet, the F1, um, with a little bit less of a bass resonance. But even though you're not getting that super deep bass and you're not gonna get as much power out of it, you do get the luxury of having this other size. In comparison, not quite as big, but still big enough to get some power out of it. Plus you have this other side that'll get you harder hits, more attack, greater variance of sound. But I'm just me. What did you think? Which mallet did you like? And make sure to go to gongsunlimited.com to check out all of these mallets for sale and hopefully now you have a better idea of which one you're going to pick out. That's it for me. Have a great day.